I love stripes, if you hadn't noticed, and I do consider stripes a neutral. Um, what else do I like? Hmm. Hey you guys, welcome back. Today I have for you a video on how to mix prints. I don't know about you, but I love prints. Sometimes I think people avoid prints because they're not sure how to style them. Normally, the expected way is to mix a print with a block color. Now that's expected, but I think it's fun to mix a print with another print. I mean, why not, right? Have fun, it's just fashion. I mean, the kind of prints I like are usually flower prints, particularly the daisy print. I love a star print, I cannot resist a star print. I love stripes, if you hadn't noticed, and I do consider stripes a neutral. Um, what else do I like? Hmm. I absolutely love polka dots as well. I mean, I do love a lot of prints. I think prints just really show your personality. Now, when you're mixing prints, the only thing I would say, and I'm not a fashion expert, I'm just a fashion junkie. So in my humble opinion, the only thing I would keep in mind when mixing prints is to match colors. So when you are mixing a print that has many colors, try and keep in that family of colors or try and pair it with a color that complements that family of colors, if you know what I mean. I have made a video on how to wear color and how to mix color. So if you haven't seen that video, I will link it down below for you. Another thing that I think is really important is when you're mixing prints, is to mix the scale of the print. So if you're wearing a larger print on top, then make sure you scale it down with a smaller print down the bottom or vice versa. Generally speaking, I don't like really large prints. I just don't think they're very flattering. Unless, exhibit A, you have a top like this. Now this is a large print. I consider this a large print, but because it's a watercolor and it's very muted and blurred and soft, it almost doesn't feel like a print, if you know what I mean. So if it's a large print and it's done like this, I'm attracted to it. But when I say large print, I mean like big, large flowers or huge polka dots. Those are usually not very flattering. Another thing I love to do when mixing prints is to mix the same print, but in different colors. So for example, let me begin with the outfit I'm wearing. I am wearing this gorgeous little cami top. Well, it's a halter neck cami top and I love it. It's by Club Monaco. I got it from LA and I'm wearing it with these Zara black and white plaid pants. So it's a black and white stripe with a little bit of lilac through it and then black and white plaid pants. But what also would have worked with these pants is a plaid shirt. Exhibit B. This plaid shirt, it's by Beach Lunch Lounge. And I got this from LA. I don't know why I'm telling you where I got everything. I have to stop that. But anyway, I could have worn this plaid shirt with these, you know, plaid pants and it would have worked well, you know, in my opinion as well. So that's another way to go. So let's get back to this outfit that I have on. Outfit number one. Now, I love this top. As I said before, I do consider stripes a neutral and it has a little bit of color, but basically it's in the same, you know, color family as the pants. We're just bringing in a little bit of lilac. I've decided to tuck in this cami because I really like the waistband of these pants and the shoe that I've decided to go with are my lilac loafers. I think it brings out the lilac of the top and I don't know, I think they just work well with the outfit. And the bag that I've chosen is this round basket bag that I got from TK Maxx, but it's an import from Bali. So that's my outfit number one for mixing prints.
moving on to outfit number two, I have on this cute little top. I love this top. It has palm trees all over it. It's very tropical. I got this before I went away on my holiday. It's by the label Rhythm. I think it's a surfy brand. I'm not sure. I've paired it with my leopard print skirt that I got from Bali. Now, yes, it's a leopard print, which I also consider a neutral, but it's still working with the same color families. So we have, you know, two prints that are, I think, mixing together really well. I love this look. I think it's so cute. It's such a great, you know, summer outfit, not only for, you know, holiday or beach wear, but just such a cute, you know, casual summer outfit. The shoes I've decided to pair with this little outfit are my Free People sandals. So I've chosen these because I want to keep this look tonal, you know, very neutral. So these are a beautiful taupey color and I love them because they look like a booty, but they're a sandal and I think they're going to go really well with this outfit. And the bag that I've chosen is a bag that I got from Vintage Century, which is a store in Bali. It's a great store. I've had this for quite a few years. It's a linen bag and it's got just a leather handle, again, in a beautiful, you know, oatmeal color. And I just love it. And I think altogether this is going to make such a cute summer outfit. Outfit number three, I'm sure you're no stranger to this shirt. This is my equipment shirt. I love this so much. And I feel the print in this shirt does not overtake, you know, the color of this shirt. It's a very small print. It's very scattered, but it is a printed shirt. And I've chosen to wear it with these thrifted shorts that I got, which are a sneak peek. They're coming up in a video that I am planning for you guys at the moment. It's a thrifted video, so I haul a whole heap of thrifted stuff. And then with everything I've hauled, I create head-to-toe thrifted outfits. So keep an eye out for that. That will be up on Thursday. But back to these shorts. These are thrifted, and they're by Witchery. I picked them up for 8 bucks. So they have a little flower print. I think it's a daisy. I'm not sure, but it's a little white and lilac flower print and the base color is black so i do have black and lilac going on in my shirt so basically everything here is in the same color family and just a little tip this is how i like to style shorts at least when i'm wearing my shorts is to wear them with something long sleeved so because i'm bearing all my legs i usually wear shorts with a shirt or something that has a bit of a sleeve. I don't really wear shorts with a tank or shorts with a tee, if you know what I mean. You know, because I'm bearing all my legs, I like to keep it more covered up, up the top. Even when we're just starting to get into the warmer weather, I like to, you know, pull out my shorts and even wear them with knits, with cozy little lightweight knits. That's a look I really love. But back to this outfit, I've decided to go with just my Adidas trainers because it is a pretty dressed up look. So I wanted to bring this outfit down with the white trainers. And the bag that I've chosen is my beautiful leather barley bag that I got earlier in the year when I was there. I absolutely love this bag. Look at the detail on it. That blush pink color, the leather. I think this is just a stunning bag and it only cost me $40 Australian. You should have seen my reaction when I laid my eyes on this bag. It was the last one. I just grabbed it. I didn't even really look at the price. I knew it wouldn't be that much because it's Bali. Everything's a bargain. And I just held it to my chest. 
I fell in love. I took it to the lady and said, I want this. Hold it for me. I'm not done looking. Don't sell it to anyone. I want it. And I just love it so much. But that's my outfit. been watching my videos for a while then you are no stranger to this dress either because I've had this dress since my son was three years old this makes this dress 10 years old I love it I will never be rid of this dress it's just you know a plaid shift dress it comes to above my knees I will show you later but it's just a plaid dress and because it's in a flannel it's a winter dress so you can't really you know wear this dress you know, in the winter time without covering up, right? So why not pair it with something printed over the top, like this blazer? Now this is a lightweight blazer, but I absolutely love it. It has little diamonds all over it, but it's just in black and white. So I think it pairs beautifully with this, with this plaid dress. Now this plaid dress is by Wesk, and this blazer is by something else. And I love the two together. It's just a beautiful way to juxtapose this dress. This dress, if I paired it with a cardigan, could look so lumberjack. You know, I don't want to look like a, you know, country bumpkin, you know. So I want to style this up. And I think this blazer does that. Now, with that in mind, I've chosen to go with my Kate Spade white loafers just to keep the, you know, dress looking smart. And for my bag, I've gone with my Suzanne white sling bag, keeping the look fresh with the white accessories, I think, because everything else is very dark. I want the white to bring out the white in the plaid dress and to freshen it up for spring. So that is outfit number four. outfit number five if I'm counting correctly I am wearing a striped top this one is by Joy I love the neckline it's just a halter neck and I'm wearing a printed maxi skirt I've had it for years it's by Goddess of Babylon and I bought it when I used to live in Sydney in Cronulla and I just love it and I think these two pair so beautifully because as I mentioned before stripes are a neutral it's a black and white stripe this skirt is a beautiful tan and black and it's in a very i don't know tribal inspired print and this beautiful tank i think just work beautifully together and because i'm so covered on the bottom and it's this block print i wanted to bare my arms and be very light on top 
So I think this is a gorgeous summer outfit. And I think I might wear this as soon as I finish filming when I head outside with my son because it's school holidays and we're going to go on a little adventure. But yeah, I've chosen to um, pair this outfit with this gorgeous bag that I got from Bali, keeping in with the black and neutral colours. It's a printed bag and you know the colors work it's the same color family and also my shoes are also black white and neutral and they are a print they're an animal print and they're pony haired i got these from thailand they're absolutely stunning they're suede black leather and animal fur and i think this outfit is just so me so stunning so comfortable so summery and I'll put it on for you now. outfit another dress it's a summery dress this floral print it's a small floral with a black background this is also thrifted you will be seeing this in the next video but I wanted to show it in this video because I wanted to show how to mix flower print on flower print so I'm going to pair it with my kimono and it's this one here by Sloan Rouge I've had it for quite a while it's in a beautiful, soft, silky kind of fabric and it has this crochet detail fringing on the ends and it's beautiful pastel colours. So this is more bright, I would say, and this is more pastel. But then when you put the two together, I do think it works because the flower print on the kimono is slightly larger and the flower print on the dress is smaller and they both have a black background. So I think mixing these two flower prints together works. And you know, we always need a little cover up when we're wearing a strapless dress like this. And I really liked this, you know, mixing prints combo, don't you? And the accessories that I've decided to tie in with this outfit are completely tan accessories. So tan sandals that I picked up from Bali. I love these toe ring sandals. They're my favorite kind where you just, your big toe goes in there and your foot is, you know, bare. I call them naked sandals. I love them. And then my crossbody fossil bag. Love it. Just a very simple outfit. I plan on taking this with me to Hawaii. So make sure you're following me on Instagram so you can see all my outfits that I wear on Hawaii. I plan to do a lookbook. But yeah, I'll show you this outfit now.
all I have for you guys today. I really hope you enjoyed this video and I hope that it helped you. I hope that it inspired you in some way and maybe, you know, next time you're shopping or looking at a print, you don't avoid it and you think, oh, maybe I can, you know, style it this way or that way. You know, there's no need to be afraid of prints. It's really easy. It's very basic. Just think, you know, color families. Just think same prints but different colors or same colors but different prints, you know, not too large or a smaller print with a slightly larger print. You know what I mean, it's not really hard. Sometimes you just need a little bit of guidance. Everyone gets inspiration from somewhere, you know, me included, of course. So if you did like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you would like to see more videos from yours truly, then please subscribe to my channel. What have I got for you? Ah, uh, yes, the thrifted haul and styling video is coming up for you next. Please leave a comment and let me know what kind of videos you enjoy and what you'd like to see from me. I aim to please. But I guess that is it for now. I am going to leave you and I really hope I see you in my next one. Try, so when you are mixing, a, and then I create, and then I create outfits, and then I create head to toe outfits, and then I create outfits. I've chosen my Suzanne white sling bags. Next video you will be seeing from me is my thrifted haul, which